And I'm joined now by the lovely Megan, who is one of our previous uh, Style Transformers. Um, Megan, can we start off uh, by just uh, asking a little bit about yourself? Yes, um, I am a mum of three kids, um, sort of older kids now, and I live in Sydney and I work double in work. I sort of am a teacher by trade, so I do um, casual teaching and um, I have been studying part-time and just finished that last year. Yay, well done, well done. So quite a busy life by the sounds of it, even though we sort of tend to talk that down. It sounds like you're very busy with even though your kids have grown, still still lots to do in that area. Um, Megan, now I'd like to start by uh, letting everyone know what uh, your style profile is. And when we refer to style profile, we mean colour palette, style personality and body shape. Can you tell us about yours? Yes, so my style personality is relaxed, natural, um, creative, rebellious, and feminine. So sorry about that, but they <laughs> no, that's fine. That's um, fine, and and we like um, the variety. We also always say there's we're sort of more than just one style personality, and that all falls down into different elements, which we might go into a little bit later. So it's great combination you've got there um yes and carry on with your color palette uh so i'm a cool white um and my body architecture is rectangular very versatile body shape isn't it megan which we've is. Um, one of the most common that we come across and the most versatile um so megan when you approached us to do the style transformation, what did you find you were struggling with the most when it came to your style? I think I was struggling because I felt like there was a, it was like a code, a fashion code or a style code that I just couldn't crack. I think I, I could sort of see, I, I suppose the classic style personality, I felt like was the correct style personality. So I would always be trying to be tailored and no print and navy white and mm -hmm. sort of very simple things. And often I didn't feel great in it. Yes. And couldn't quite figure out why. Yes. And my other, the other struggle I had was because I'm sort of, I'm quite broad shouldered and um, big bosomed, I, the only the only thing I knew is that a V-neck was great. That was the sure thing, the sure, <laughs> sure thing. The one sure thing and the other thing is I knew that a, like a belt around my middle is terrible. So I would be trying to find something that was V-necked, not something waist definition, and I'd buy things to suit what I thought was what suited my body. Mm -hmm. And then when I had it on, I just hate, I hated it. I hated the print. I felt like I was sacrificing print anything that I loved for something that I thought would work on my body. And and we talk a lot about that, don't we, in the process, in understanding, well, we call it the alien effect. So what you're experiencing in those things was the alien effect and not quite understanding um, why you felt strange in these things. And now hearing about your style personality combination with the creative rebellious element to it, it's sort of that aha moment of I I really need to be more creative in my clothes and patterns and colours. Yes, and I didn't know that. And I think when I first saw you and Fiona, um, what appealed to me was that you weren't like each other. I feel like so often if you see style advice givers, they're, they're like mirror images of each other, of... Yes. I don't know, and whereas you two were completely different to each other. Yeah. But it, I can see that it totally worked for both of you. So I thought, okay, they know something that I need to know because. And we were talking a bit, weren't we, before we got on, Megan, in fact, about owning your style personality and going with it and admiring it, admiring another style person, personality on someone else um, but accepting that looks great for them but it's not for me. And I think that's part of that whole journey as, I mean, I think we do it as humans, but particularly women where we're constantly trying to work out 
who we are in the world. And you have all these sort of conflicting voices and things around you. Um, so, yeah, I did really struggle with that. I, I looked at friends of mine who I thought were stylish. Yes, and they are in their yeah, own way. Yeah. And, and, and I just think I love that on you, but any time I had one girlfriend who tried let me try on her dresses, I had something to go to, and she said, I'll sort you out, like, come over. And I tried on a dress, and she was so sure it was going to work on me, and she just went, no. <laughs> like, no, but, it doesn't but, work. But both of you standing there going, but why? Yeah. <laughs> why is that so perfect on you and yet it makes me look mm. weird? And that's the one thing we say about style personality. You can you double in certain colours by understanding the rules. You can alter clothing to make them fit better. But with style personality, you can't fake that. So we do go into why that is the most important thing to understand. Yeah, and I would agree. That has been my biggest um, takeaway from Style Transformation Group. It's just knowing knowing when I've got it right, when I feel like I'm wearing something that I think, okay, yes, I think this looks good and I think that this is me. Like I think this is a true representation of who I am. Yeah. So those, like out, those outfits are priceless. We call them I'm um, at home outfit. <laughs> yeah. We, don't, we say not just your track pants but an outfit you can go out feeling 100% authentically you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what you guys do really well. Yeah, so you mentioned, Megan, that looking at Fee and I, um, seeing that we were completely different, are there any other elements that attracted you to the style transformation um, instead of, say, your um, shopping centre stylist, that sort of thing that can offer similar advice? Is there anything that else that you sort of thought, no, I think this is the thing for me? I think... It's the sort of relationship you two have. And I think there's that sort of, um, there's a kookiness which I can relate to <laughs> with the two of you. And also a warmth and um, there's like a genuine kindness about the two of you. And I actually encouraged my sister to join. Wow. Um, and when she started to look at it, you know, she was like, ooh, I've got to send, I'd have to send in photos and, and that is, like, that is a daunting thing, Absolutely. except that I, I really got a read on you two that you were kind, um, genuine people, and so that made that process, you know, easy. That's lovely to hear because it is. It, and Fee and I talk about that all the time in the sense that women put themselves in a vulnerable position by doing that. Yeah. So very important to us to help them feel comfortable. And I would say, too, we attract a group of ladies that are so supportive and kind of one, to one another. Yeah, I totally agree. I, I never feel like, I mean, it, I still feel embarrassed sometimes when I post something. I'm like. As we all do, as we yeah. all do. Because it, it feels like it could be an obvious question or it's. Something that I sort of maybe even sense, but I can't quite work out what the problem is. Um, and I have to say, I've never had anything but positive, um, really helpful feedback. So never a too obvious question, Megan. Never, ever, ever. We, as I, as we always say, we love questions because it means your commitment to applying the theory and really understanding it um, is crucial to us. Yeah. So you mentioned before your style, understanding your style personality and how all the different elements come together for that combination to work. But what do you think were some of the other aha moments for you throughout the program? I think the other major one was, so I'd had my colours done maybe, I don't know, 15 years ago. And I think it, I'm not 100% sure, but I think it was exactly the colour palette that you guys came up with. But I I <laughs> couldn't understand colour, the contrast. Yes. So I thought, okay, navy, great, charcoal grey, great. And and then like an, I think like a winter white I can wear. But I, I did notice I'd put it on and I'd sort of just feel a bit, mm. Mm hmm So I think... It took me, it did take me a while to get that, but the whole idea that you need to have the contrast between your skin 
and the item of clothing. Mm -hmm. um, and overall it needs to be, so I'm medium contrast. So I need to have, you know, I can't be too pale and I can't be too dark. Absolutely. And so it doesn't always help to know your colours. Yes. And if you're not given the tools to understand that contrast, you can just go about using your palette um, and not understand why. They said this colour looks great on me. Why am I not feeling that this colour looks great on me? Yeah. And even though you being a cool light palette still requiring that medium contrast and understanding how, and as you've probably seen through all of our um, uh, content, it really can make, make the difference between whether you love your palette or not using those colours correctly. Yes, yes, because I have to say when you said I was cool light and I had a look, I'm not a natural pastel lover. Yep. Um, and the, the most common comment from a cool light. <laughs> I don't want to be a pastel person. Um, but, I mean, this is pastel. Yes, but it's got the right amount of contrast with hair, skin and eyes, yes. Yes. So, um, again, I, I also love the intellectual sort of stimulation of understanding that stuff. The theory of it. Yeah, so I'm not just, you, you don't just dish out. I mean, you do dish out, like you tell us what our colour palette is and whatever. But there is still that work that you have to do yourself by just trial and error and trying things and learning more. Yes, absolutely. And it is about the homework, working in your own wardrobe. Yeah. And we talk all the time about being mindful about uh, the items you're bringing in, the items you might say goodbye to, and the items um, that how you put those items together, being really mindful, taking the time to work with them. And I think that's something we do as women too. Often we're putting outfits together when you're on a, in a rush out the door. But yes, yes. Encouraging our clients to work and spend some time and make it enjoyable is really important. Yes. And I think something else that that has allowed me to do is to try and wear that same piece a few different ways. Like I was never good at that. Yes. I wasn't good at taking a jacket that I wore formally and pairing it back with jeans and making it a more sort of casual look. Yes. Um, and I love that. I love that getting something new and then thinking, okay, well, I thought I would wear it with this dress, but I wonder what it would look like with that top. Or yep. um, So it's a lot of fun. I do find it very satisfying. That's And that brings us joy, knowing that your wardrobe now, our, the wardrobes for our clients bring fun instead of a bit of being a bit of overwhelm, a bit of drudgery, a bit of fear even. Yes. Yes. Of your wardrobe. Absolutely. Yeah. And how did you find me? And in terms of the body shape, we we're talking before you as a rectangle, um, the most versatile body shape, understanding now perhaps why a belt or a cinched around the waist doesn't work for you. Yeah. That's changed everything, I think. And the one part I used to, and I still do love, I love that boho sort of full-sleeved thing. <laughs> it yes. wasn't until I did style transformation that I realised that it just is adding so much volume and, you know, to the top half of me, um, which I know you can do intentionally if you, if you then narrow it down at the bottom, but I didn't understand any of that. Mm -hmm. And again, it's that theory, right? Understanding where you've had wins in the past, how to then replicate that yes. in other garments. Yes. And I don't think I did have many wins before. <laughs> when I look back, I just, I always felt like, okay, this sort of has a V-neck, but I'm not. Yeah. Tick for the V-neck. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. And that's a really lovely style too for your relaxed, natural, rebellious, a little bit creative there, that boho vibe, understanding how if you're going to do that, mm -hmm. which is right up your style personality alley, um, how, if you're going to do that, what elements you're looking for and particularly for our rectangles, just it doesn't have to be cinched at the waist, just that little hint of shape just under that bus there is really important. Yes. So, Megan, now's the time we get to hear about all those different comments you've heard. Have people noticed? And not, we don't just mean, I mean, obviously the overt noticing is great, 
but just in subtle ways, have you found um, people have noticed? I think so. I think I think definitely. Certainly, I've noticed with my um, like husband and my kids will comment that something looks nice. Um, but you know, I, I feel like for me, it's it's my own reaction. Like it's my own reaction. Sometimes I'll get dressed and I um, turn and look at myself and I think, oh. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, I can see that it's me and I can see that it suits me. So, and I never, you know, you know, women are notoriously bad at complimenting Absolutely. things, but I, I, I can see when things work now and it's so nice. I feel like I've done something, you know, lovely for myself. And that is an absolutely wonderful, having kids of your own, getting so wrapped up in them for so many years and forgetting yourself. <laughs> yes. who you are. Yes. And it's a, it's a redesign. And we do say too, style personality does change over time. You mightn't change the style personality combination, but the elements you're looking for or how weighted you are in any particular one can change according to your lifestyle. Yeah. So, it is important to sort of go back and sort of reflect over time at different stages in life to see if that has changed. And we hear that so often that you just get so wrapped up in life and kids and work, you come out the other end and go, who am I again? <laughs> <laughs> and this is sort of a, a process of yeah. discovering I think so. And that it came at that time for me when I'd sort of, been through my 40s, towards the end of my 40s, I was starting to think, hang on. Yeah. You know, Something's going to change. I feel like I was coming up for air a bit. Um, so, yeah, style transformation has helped me reconnect with who I actually am. And now you have that theory profile, the style profile that you have, and you can tweak it if going forward any particular changes happen again or, and most importantly, now that we've started to travel, when we travel, that theory is really useful as well. Yep, sure is. So, Megan, what would you say if there was sort of anyone sitting on the fence going, oh, I'm not sure, what would you say to someone who is contemplating um, entering into the process? I would say that the vibe of you two, the vibe of the group is such a lovely, warm um, community that it's worth doing for that. It's very safe. Um, I think it's worth doing to reconnect with who you are and who, who you want to be out in the world because it is you're sending a message out to the world that, I value myself. Absolutely. By thinking about what I'm wearing and um, I am valuable, therefore I am valuable. So I think it's it's a really worthwhile investment. I've learned so much. Um, that is absolutely wonderful. And I, I, I've got the best job in the world hearing of the freedom that's generated by knowing within yourself that you look great. Mm. And I think what you said is really important. It's like it's wonderful to get the lovely compliments, but it's even more important how you view yourself and getting a glimpse of yourself in the mirror and thinking that is all right. <laughs> <laughs> that is absolutely priceless, isn't it? <laughs> I think so. I think so. Absolutely priceless. Well, Megan, that is absolutely wonderful. And um, as you know, Fee and I absolutely love our jobs. Love spreading the gospel, shall I say, um, of um, the style transformation theory. But thank you so much for chatting to us today. And may you go and enjoy your theory even more. <laughs> we love hearing about it.